Hello, my friends. I'm your host, Rhiannon Walker, and I'm here to take you through the Sports Day High School top 10 replays of the week. Thank you to Peter Downing, Ted Skinner, and to Willie Orji, and to all the schools who sent me a video for this week. Thank you, guys. Let's kick off the fun, though, with Colleyville Heritage. Reed Harrison Ducros takes us into number 10. He only had one catch in the game against Mansfield, but when Camden Rowan threw this up, Harrison Ducros hauled in a one-handed beauty for 38 yards. Mansfield would win, though, 45-22. Number 9. Prosper, Wilson, Prosper's Wilson Daltry put on a show at AT&T Stadium. Now, I know you guys saw the one-handed grab I tweeted out, but he also had this beautiful over-the-shoulder reception. It was beautiful. His two catches for 59 yards were huge, and we have more coming from this game shortly. Mansfield's in review. When you're trailing 14 to 7 late in the third, why not bring out the handy dandy fake punt play? Mansfield's in review did just that in number 8, with Nigel Hilton connecting with Braylon Royal for 29 yards on 4th and 6. Number 7, Frisco Lone Star's Jason Shelley was running rampant throughout the game against Prosper. This was just one of his electric runs. He escapes the pocket, hot skips over one defender, spins past another one, takes out the other one, fakes one more guy out, and he does all this before finally going down. Lone Star would defeat Prosper 24 to 10. Now this is Rockwell, Caleb's approach. He would not be stopping the game against Corpus Cove. Coming in at number six is his 351 yards, eight touchdown performance, which is just absolutely nuts, astounding, ridiculous, whatever adjective you want to use. Rockwall would walk off with a resounding 67 to 35 win. Number five, Trinity Christian Cedar Hills. Malachi Brodnex has a free blitzer with a beat on him. He escapes the first guy, makes the next two guys collide with one another. And then, well, after that, he kind of has an entourage of blockers to help him get to the end zone for this wonderful 50-yard score. T.C. Cedar Hill cruises past Moonster Sacred Heart 45 to 21. Number four. Now, some of you might call this trickery, or double, triple, or reverse handoff, whatever. I like to keep things simple, though. This is an everybody in the backfield touch the ball before you throw it to the wide receiver. And, you know, it's easy because Austin Myers makes it look easy with the 74-yard touchdown catch. More from this game coming up. And we're going back to this game now. This is Eno Benjamin here. And, you know, he said he recognized me for my top plays. Well, let's get more acquainted, shall we? He's going to come out, slip through two defenders, backstep again, backstep the second time, and then he looks like he's got nothing but clear skies here. This Defender is going to try and trip him up. Somehow, some way, he is still going to make it into the end zone. The sad thing here is that the touchdown wouldn't count. There was a holding penalty all the way back at the 20 yard line, and so the play was negated. But Benjamin would finish with 260 yards and seven touchdowns, lucky number seven, as Wiley East beat the Colonies 71 to 48. Benjamin did say all his success comes from his teammates and his offensive line, so shout out to you guys as well. Number two. After giving up a late game field goal to Abilene, Arlington Lamar trailed 33 to 32. No problem whatsoever here. These fine young men, such as Draven Cantley, say, I take your field goal and I raise it with a game winning walk off or run off, kick off return for a touchdown, 93 yards to be exact. It's funny how one year makes a difference. You know, one year, a team can beat another in the first round of the playoffs by three points. The next year, that same team can lose by the exact same margin. It's crazy, right? Well, how about South Grand Prairie's efforts in its first round rematch against undefeated Eulis Trinity? You see what I did there, don't you? The Warriors had a short field and went to work from the Eulis Trinity 47. Ten plays later, Jose Cruz stepped back to kick a 32-yard field goal with moments to spare and nailed it to give South Grand Prairie the upset. To the victors go the spoils, and to South Grand Prairie the spoils are an extra play from your game. Congratulations. This one is Julio, or Dulio Dooley, catching this pass from Greg Eisworth, bending over backwards. This one was literally one of the most exciting plays I've seen. Congratulations again, guys. That is it for the Bias District edition of the Top 10 Plays. What a way to start playoffs, guys. You guys... Bravo! I was pretty excited to see this. Check back for all the highlights from the area around, from the area around. To have video on the show, please send me a link to my Twitter account at Instant Replay. See below. You guys know where to go. Or send compressed files to my email, rwalker at Dallas News. Here it is again. Thanks for hanging with me, folks. See ya.